So here's where enlargement might get a little bit challenging because up until now, we've just been multiplying lengths without worrying about where the shape sits. But enlargements are defined from a specific point called the center of enlargement. Now imagine placing a pin on paper. So that's your center. Now every point of the shape moves away or towards that pin depending on the scale factor. So if the scale factor is greater than one, the shape gets bigger and moves away from the pin. And if it's between zero and one, the shape gets smaller and moves closer to the pin. So let's do an example together. Um, suppose you have a square, one unit away from the center of enlargement and the scale factor is three. So after enlargement, each corner will be three times as far from the center. So if one corner was two units away, now it will be six units away. The whole square is bigger, but also shifted to a new position. Now, this can feel tricky at first because you're not just multiplying side lengths anymore. You're multiplying distances from the center, which means the shape expands outwards or shrinks inwards, but always in line with the center. Now, a tip that I give to my students is when you're drawing an enlargement, connect the center of enlargement to each corner of the original shape, then extend the line the correct distance depending on the scale factor. And the new shape sits on those extended lines. And this is exactly how maps, plans, models, they all scale accurately. Because without a fixed center, enlargement would just be floating. So the center anchors the transformation and makes it precise. Now let's bring it all together and let's recap. So in this capsule, we've gone from the basics of enlargement all the way to the advanced stage, which is enlargement with a center. Hopefully you're feeling confident now that enlargement is just about scaling, whether that's zooming in, zooming out or stretching from a center point.